Hello guys, uh, we have a new mission and we will talk about a code that is a really headache sometimes. It's the code P0500, vehicle speed sensor. Most of the people, they think that they have a problem with a wheel speed sensor. The wheel speed sensor on short cut is WSS. Uh, -S. Uh, the code that we will talk about is VSS, Vehicle Speed Sensor and Wheel Speed Sensor. Now, we will start with a description of the main components that we will not test, but how is operating generally the system uh, and how we can troubleshoot a zero P0500 uh, code. Let's start with a forerunner. A forerunner, we have two actually, one is healthy, one not. We know the problem, uh, but we will start from zero. Let's start first of all from gearbox. On the gearbox, we have the end, the uh, NT TN sensor. It's, it's reading actually the gearbox. Uh, the evolutions of the gearbox. This is from this side. This is the left side as we are sitting inside of the vehicle. Here, here we have the VSS, the vehicle speed sensor. By the way, on the wheels, we have each wheel, we have the wheel speed sensors because of the ABS, each wheel. And now what is happening? Let's, let's start the description. From all these uh, signals, they are going to the skid control module. The skid control module is, the, uh, is attached with ABS unit. Now let's bring the vehicle down and we'll continue the description. Great. We are bringing the vehicle down and we will give a description of the system. Come a little bit down, down, down. Stop. Now, this is the ABS unit and this is the skid control. All the sensors, they are coming, let's say, like an input to the skid. From the skid control, we have one cable. Most of the forerunners from 2003, 4 model to 2009, they are using the same color. The color that is going like an output and is coming to the cluster. This is a cluster from a forerunner. And uh, actually it's from this side. No, sorry. As we are looking, it's this side, this side. So we have the input from the skid. It's coming here, it's giving us the speed of the vehicle. And after we have an output that is going to the brain box of the car to allow the brain box to know the speed of the car, the condition. So for the ECU is an input. Now, in this case, the trouble area, the trouble area, the common ones is, they are uh, skid control, ECU, brain box, and the cluster. A fourth case, it can be short circle between the skid and the cluster, or between cluster and ECU. Now, the simulation that somebody can run when you have a correct scanner is to enter to live data, leave the vehicle like we did here, on one side, when it's two-wheel drive, or you have the option to put four-wheel drive. In four-wheel drive cases, you need to put it on the lift, but doesn't matter. Since the, the, 
the, we have a rotation of the wheels, immediately we have a pulse, a signal from skid. Now what we will do? We will just put the machine to check what results we have here and what results we have there. And after we will, uh, I have already read continu continuity and etc. on the cards. So this one, uh, because we want to buy a, a cluster and brand new, not available second hand. It's difficult presently to find some things. We need to order from abroad. So before we will go to this, we decide to make 100% sure, to be 100% sure that the main problem is the cluster. For this reason, we have another car uh, that we will use it just to verify that it's a cluster 100%. Because we check the line, we check everything, the vehicle is from respect of uh, all these things, we are okay. Now, in case that we have a continuous code of P0500, it starts affecting the shifting of the car, of transmission. So on time, we have a challenges, and finally, probably, we will spoil the gearbox. So let's run now a, a, a live data test with a diagnostic machine, and let's uh, have a look what results is bringing us the healthy, let's call it one for runner, and the four runner that have problems. Now we are doing a simulation test with a live data of the vehicle. As you can see, we lift also here the vehicle with a jack, one side. Okay, the other is on the floor. Here, uh, we choose, I choose engine speed, uh, the anti-sensor, it will read the same rotation revolution with engine. This is, this is the, the SP2 with a vehicle speed, is supposed to show us the same uh, values. So we are engaged here on drive, we are stepping on the brake, and we are leaving the brake. Leave the brake. We can see now the vehicle speed with SP, they are reading the same speed plus the speedometer is giving us also speed. The anti-sensor speed and the engine speed, they have the same values, the same RPM. So on this car, we are healthy. We just remove this one to swap the, the clusters. We will run the same thing on the other vehicle and we'll see the difference uh, of the vehicle. Please prepare it. Here we have prepared also, we have prepared also, uh, the wheel is on, on ground, we remove also the plastics, the covers, and we will uh, connect the, the machine to enter to live data. Let's go, continue. So now, we are doing to the second forerunner that have problem. This is the first one. We enter to the same, the same uh, live data to read the values. We are engaging drive with the same method. Please release your leg. And vehicle speed is showing us zero. This means the speed sensor is okay, it's healthy. We know that because we check this car, but the output from the cluster input to ECU is showing us zero. So the ECU don't, that, it don't know the speed of the vehicle. So it cannot send an order because the same brain box is controlling the solenoid of the automatic transmission. Now we will swap 
the clusters and uh, we will check uh, please somebody guys Joseph remove the cluster from the forerunner you shoot off the vehicle no no off the car now we we do the swapping from this one one more thing the top side because they are holding also the sockets because they are double two and two and uh, uh, Miriam please open the bonnet Yusuf The same we are made, the same engine, the same faction, the same uh, ABS also here. We have the same is 35050, both of them. Here now what we did, exists a cable, a wire that is gray, gray and uh, red line. It's entering inside to the cluster. From the cluster, it's reading the speed correct, but the output to go to the ECU, that is uh, for the passenger side by the side, you have to remove the pigeon hole to reach there. Exists a, a violet red color. So, let's see, let's give them a time and we'll continue. So we, we, we replace the clusters. We know that this cluster is good, so uh, it will give us what it will give us. Let's see the values now. So we'll conclude finally the problem. And uh, please uh, drive, uh, release the brake. And as you can see here, again, we are not reading the vehicle speed. Now, uh, it's okay, we put park and etc. Now, with this, let's say, way, we shortcut the job because we test the continuity on the vehicle before, from skid to cluster, cluster ECU, the continuity is okay, but probably we have problem on the connectors. For this reason, like I used to say, like I used to say that, uh, off the car please, uh, Miriam, like I used to say uh, that uh, some cases they are not standard. The good thing from this experiment is that we don't uh, bolt the cluster because it's costly and with this way, at least and we protect the client and we know with what we are dealing now the last step that we have to do because i have changed already brain box before uh, skip uh, we change anyway because we have problem with the uh, accumulator motor and etc uh, continuity we check the only thing that you cannot check easily is the connectors and in this case, if the connector, for instance, of, we can have problem from the connector of the of the skid. It can be the connector of the cluster. Uh, the connector of the ECU is not because uh, anyway we don't have signal. So this means that uh, since it's like that, the ECU side is okay. The problem is between connector of skid and uh, the connector of cluster. Now to find this and replace is not easy. It's not easy. Uh, one, one thing that we can do is to peel, that we haven't done, to peel the cables and check if we have holes from here and if we have poles inside with a connector blocked because we want to find the passion contact 
and uh, we will continue the diagnosis. But this is the way that you can uh, rectify a problem uh, because if you use oscilloscope or like I say with uh, live data and etc. Okay, you know that it's not ready. You know that the components are healthy because four trouble areas you have, most common. Three, we already test them, skid, ECU and cluster. We are between a wire and connector. Wires we check, remaining connector. This is the way how you are dealing with the code of P0500 a vehicle speed sensor. It's not easy work. It's not a, something you can do daily because if you come to this side to start try to troubleshoot the harness, there the problem starts. By the way, thank you very much. Uh, we don't complete the mission, but at least we figure out the problem. We know where is the trouble area is of the vehicle. Uh, one more mission, let's say, finished. Thank you very much. Please, uh, for, for support, leave your comment. Uh, subscribe to our channel, press the like or the dislike button, doesn't matter, uh, try to support us, thank you guys.